Mm. All right, my minions. Yes. Another glorious training Thursday. And of course, I've been training. This is why I'm here. I just got done with a five mile run. Uh, so forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. Give me one moment. But anyways, yeah, so. Yes, it was it was good. It's very therapeutic, I would say. But there's a part about being jumped and fighting more than one opponent that I kind of neglected. I just forgot to put it. I forgot to mention last time. So this is part two. Deuce of some things, tactic strategies, things you could do when you're fighting more than one opponent and getting jumped. You know, it may or may not happen to you, but it does happen to people. And one of those biggest things is, and it's not stressed enough. I, I've actually, you know, I've done some external research and watched some other YouTubers' videos, and there have some just some great other you know, videos out there. Don't just take, you know, my information for what it is. Remember, this is a way, not the way. <laughs> so, but what I've noticed that a lot, what a lot of people don't don't emphasize is utilizing your environment. You know. Utilizing the things that are around you. I mean, that is an important part. One, like I mentioned before, there is no fair fight in life and death. You know, it is what it is. So, but for simplicity's sake, you being jumped is already unfair. The odds are already not in your favor. So fuck fair. <laughs> you do what you gotta do to get out of there. You do what you gotta do to win. Do what you do what you gotta do to survive. You know. So use the environment. Like I said before, you keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't let people get behind you. Always have your guard up. Always be moving. Don't let anybody take your back. But at the same time, while I'm moving, I'm grabbing what I can and tossing it. You know? Throwing at people. Use my environment. I don't care if it's a bare bottle. I don't care if it's a rock, a spatula. Now you do what you gotta do and keep at it. Now, the goal is obviously to hit that person in the damn face, throat, wherever it hurts and keep doing what you need to be doing. At the very least, you've got them flinching. You've got them all temporarily on the defensive. So now, where's the thing at? So now, maybe I've busted them in their damn face with to say it's a rock's a dog toy and they're out they're out for the count or i'm running i'm running i'm running i grab what i need to grab i throw it they they flinched they stopped what they were doing now they flinched they ducked and now i can possibly use that as an opportunity to go on the offensive knock their ass out just yeah yeah you know so Use your environment. Doesn't matter what it is. Come up here, grab that damn bottle. Wham! <laughs> and you'll get them clips of that. Probably now. But do what you need to do. Utilize your environment. Use all the skills you have. Um, I think it's someone one of the Dave, Daniel Craig's James Bond where he's just tossing stuff, tossing stuff. I love it, but that's real. Now, story time. Me and a buddy, a couple of buddies, I mean about maybe four or five other people horsing around, you know, just doing what we do, having fun. Nothing serious, nothing personal. They decide they were going gang up on me. So, knowing what I know, doing what I do, I'm moving around, I'm moving around, I'm ducking, I'm pushing people out the way, stacking my threats. I come across, we're in this room, mind you. Then it got kind of out of control. Somebody grabbed a damn uh, PVC pipe. It's pretty damn big. So I'm moving, it was like something, it morphed into some like backyard, indoor, WWE craziness, you know? But I'm moving, I got, I'm moving, stacking my threats, getting, getting out the way, 
They were trying to grab me. I'm shoving them off, pushing them away. I back up and there's this damn cookie sheet on the table. It's like, and we had this little mini table in the middle of that kind of middle room. I grab that, fling that damn thing like a frisbee, bust my friend in this goddamn, I split his lip. Um, didn't hit him hard, but you know, the lip is sensitive. It, it's, it's just skin that's thin, as you know. So it's not like I knocked him out. And I wasn't going to knock him out. I was more just, yeah, you know, get him up, get him away. Got some dude swings the damn PVC pipe and I kind of like power blocked it. And that thing broke in half when I hit it. So that thing was useless. But the point is I, just, I kept moving, kept going. Eventually it died down. We attended to my to my my guy there, you know, stir stripped his lip shut. <laughs> you know, <laughs> did what we need to do. It was a fun time, don't get me wrong. But the point is keeping it moving. Slipping, slipping. <clears throat> Keep moving. Whew. You know. Throw that kick. Keep moving. Throw that side kick. Keep moving. That's the, the whole point. Is you're moving, utilizing your environment, and going. So, use your environment. Do what you need to do. Escape that situation, and keep it moving. It doesn't have to look pretty. You know, we break down these fight techniques, and you know, the perfect jab, and keeping the shoulder up, and twisting with the hip, and everything. But when you're in the thick of it, that technique, the technique is good. You're getting all the power and stuff you have. The technique may be a little sloppy, you know? Don't worry about that. When you're exhausted, don't worry about that. Utilize what you got and what you can do, you know? Demonstrations are picture perfect for a reason. But in the reality of it, there's a difference between being in a mat and being in a real situation. And you can see it, you, you, can, you can compare the two. Watch any, any, any combat sports, any, you know, boxing, MMA, whatever. You'll see their training sessions and everything's perfect and they, they've got the uppercuts and the hooks perfect and everything just goes according to plan. When they get in the ring, the technique doesn't look the same and that's is for a reason. Logically, it's for a reason. You know? So don't worry about that, you know. But anyways, thank you for being here. I just wanted to share that, share, you know, story time with you. But also there's a very important aspect of that you know of fighting and especially when being jumped is using the environment around you using everything you have to your advantage everything you know obviously the end goal is to escape now you might knock all two three four five of them right out and then look at them now what have you learned <laughs> you know and that comes with time, that comes with skill, that comes with many other factors and things. So, the wind's blowing, my tripod's about to fall over. So, but in this basic form, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you want to be the one, you're going home. So, escape. Do what you need to do, get the hell out of there. You know, anything beyond that, that's your choice. But the goal is to escape, to survive, to go home at the end of the day. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here. Please like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.